metal structure on the lampshade that holds its shape. This is the lampshade design that I would like on my lamp, but it has a clip-on fitter. My lamp needs an Uno fitter. It has a large type opening that'll fit around the bulb socket. Using wire cutters, I'm going to clip the top of the blue lampshade off. I'm going to clip the top of this fitter off of the blue lampshade. ascending the entire lampshade. Okay, so I'll admit it, I'm not the neatest person around. So in order to keep this project as neat as possible, I'm gonna mark out the lines using this ribbon and a marker, just to keep the lines evenly spaced and straight. I realized that the ribbon was not going to match up exactly to the dimensions of my lampshade. So I switched to the top, alternating top and bottom, to measure out the lines on the lampshade. This way, I do not lose the integrity of the top and the bottom piece of the lampshade. Knowing that I was going to cut out the middle of the lampshade entirely anyways, this was the best way to get an even result. to painting each individual line pro tip here when starting out your line place your sponge along each line that you previously drew that way you can quickly just go in and fill in the middle space without fearing that you're gonna go over the line Oh, 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 oh,
wait for all the black paint to dry, let's go ahead and glue some rhinestones around the top and the bottom edge of our lampshade. Completely grabbing rhinestones at random, not paying attention to size or shape, just gluing them on as they come. I like the messy look of not having them even, but it's your shape. Go ahead and do whatever you like. into the black sections of the lampshade. Using these very cheap napkins, we're going to apply a wrinkled texture to the black rings around the lampshade. We achieve this by layering napkins and Mod Podge. carefully cut around this middle line. Be careful kids, make sure to ask an adult for help. Blood and skin is not a part of this DIY. I promise. Now we're going to take these toothpicks and we're just going to glue them together to make some strong supports for both sides of the lampshade. Gluing them in fours seemed to be what worked best for me. Using some hot glue and duct tape, we're going to go ahead and glue these toothpicks on the inside of the bottom portion of the lampshade. Make sure it's at the top part of the bottom piece so that way you're easily able to attach it to the top piece of the lampshade. Now it's time for the dangerous part. So remember, safety first. Now we're going to take our Mod Podge and just slather it on the inside of the white lampshade. Make sure to be very liberal with this application. Work in small sections 
to avoid drying. Take that stuff that shall not be named and apply on top of the Mod Podge that you just laid down. Again, being very liberal. just to cover up the pieces of the toothpicks where I couldn't easily get the paint to cover up. Now we just assemble it all. The beams that I used for structure fell apart and they were not strong enough to support the weight of the lampshade. I realized when attaching the fitter with hot glue and duct tape, it wasn't strong enough to support the weight of the lampshade. So I went back in and I rolled up some cardboard paper and wrapped it up again in duct tape to try to give it some support straps to make the whole structure stronger. Later on, after I realized that I bought the wrong size fitter, this did not matter anyways because since the fitter did not sit inside the lamp the way it should have, this all came crumbling down. So now in a later project, I'm going to have to go back, reassess, find the correct fitter and be able to put the whole thing up all again. I will definitely keep you guys updated on that in a later video. DIY lampshade. Altogether, this project cost me about 20 to 30 bucks to create. Some of the items used I already had lying around my home, some of them I did not. I will go ahead and list down in the description box below which items I already had and which ones I had to purchase. Shade better. And join me next time on.